Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are my list of must-have apps for your OnePlus 3. So the first app is Plex. I mainly use it to stream content from my phone and from my desktop PC to my television via the Chromecast. If you have a lot of offline content and if you want to stream that to any particular device, definitely try out Plex. The next app is App Dialer and this is how it looks and it is simply the most addictive app that I've used on Android. Well, it doesn't do anything specifically, but it simply searches for other apps. If you're someone like me who installs a lot of apps on your phone and are lazy to search for those apps, then you can use this app and I'm definitely sure that you'll love it. So if I want to search for Play Store, I can simply select PLA and it'll give me a quick shortcut to open Play Store. I can do the same for Gmail or MX Player or any other app as long as I remember the name of the app. In the Pro version, we also get additional shortcuts to go to the app info page, uninstall the app and directly go to the Google Play Store page of that particular app. So definitely a must have app on every Android device. The next app in our list is Nova Launcher and this is a launcher that is more customizable than the stock Google Launcher. So if you love the stock Google Launcher and if you want something very similar to that, then you can definitely try Nova Launcher. The next app is ES File Explorer. As the name suggests, it's a file explorer and besides that, it's more like a Swiss army knife. You can do almost anything and everything using this particular app. Besides the normal functionality of a file explorer, you have the option to backup applications, install applications or uninstall the apps, open images, videos, text files and even edit those text files. You have a browser built into it, FTP manager, remote file manager and all sorts of crazy stuff. So definitely give it a try. The next app is MX Player, which is probably the best video player for Android. It comes with some nice gestures like swiping left and right to change the playback position, swipe on the right side of the screen to change the volume, swipe on the left side of the screen to change the brightness of the display. Besides these options, you have options for hardware acceleration. You have two modes besides the software mode, hardware and hardware plus mode, which uses your GPU to render the video and thereby saves your battery too. The next app in our list is PowerAmp and this is also one of the best music players on Android. As of now when I am recording this video, it was being sold for 10 rupees in India and probably VLS in other marketplaces too. So there isn't anything that I can say about it. It's simply the best and you should definitely give it a try. You have a trial version which might give you maybe a week or 30 days of usage. The next app in the list is AZ Screen Recorder. This is the app I use most frequently to record screens or to do a screencast on my Android device. If you are a vlogger like me or if you want to record your screen, this is the app that I would like to recommend to you. The next app is Aftership. This is an app to track your shipments or your parcels. The best thing is it works with almost all the Indian courier services out there, including Indian Post. It will regularly remind you where your courier packages is. The next app is App Detox. If you are someone with way less self-control just like me, then you can use this app to control your usage on Android. Let's say you don't want to use WhatsApp or YouTube for more than 15 minutes a day. You can create rules like that and this app will make sure that you won't use those apps for more than 15 minutes in a day. The next app is Authy. If you have enabled two-factor authentication, then you can use this app to generate the two-factor authentication codes. So if you want to secure your Google account or Facebook account, or any other account with two-factor authentication, this is a very good app to try. The next app is Textra and it has some nice features like we can mark all the messages as read, we can blacklist any particular contact or else we can simply turn off notifications for few contacts. It's packed with features and it also have options for themes. The next app in the list is Best App Sales and I usually buy a lot of apps from the Play Store which are on sale and it's really hard to keep track of all those apps so I use best app sales. Whenever there is a discount going on for any particular app, I can find that quickly using this app. So if you want to save some money while buying Android apps, definitely give it a try. The next app is InShorts. If you're someone who doesn't like to read newspaper or watch news but still want to know what's going around in the world, then this is the best app for you. It gives you small snippets of information which will describe almost everything that's happening around. So definitely a time saver for all you productivity freaks out there. 
The next app is Google Keep and I'm pretty sure it comes pre-installed on OnePlus 3. If you're someone who takes a lot of notes and share it with others, then this app is definitely a must-have app for you. It isn't as fancy as Evernote or as functional as OneNote, but for someone who want to take small notes in an organized way, Google Keep is definitely the best choice. The next app is Disk Usage. If you are running out on internal space on your phone and you don't know what's taking up so much space, then you can definitely use this app to get a graphical representation of all the files and folders in your phone. Using this app, you know which particular folder is occupying more space and what are the unnecessary files that are taking up too much space and based on that information, you can delete all those useless files. The next app is if it's an app for the website IFTT, if this then that, it's an automation based app. So you can create triggers to perform actions. Configure a trigger such that when you get an SMS, it gets added to your Google Drive or that message gets sent as an email or you can do crazy stuff like that using this particular application. Next we have follow shows. If you watch a lot of TV series like Game of Thrones and if you want to be notified whenever a new episode releases, then this is definitely a must have app for you. Just sign into it and select the shows that you want to follow and every time a new episode releases, you will get an email and a notification on your phone. Next we have Facets. It's a paid wallpaper app and you get all these cool wallpapers. So if you like stuff like these, then definitely give it a try. Next we have Here Maps, and it is probably the best offline navigation apps after Google Maps. You can download the entire map of a state or a country or even an entire continent using this particular application. Next we have App Sales. It does pretty much the same job as Best App Sales. It even lists the same things. But additionally you have the option to add apps in your watch list and whenever the price decreases you will be notified about that. Next we have GSAM Battery Monitor app. Using this app you can track how your battery discharges or when it is discharging more and when it is not. You can even track if dose is working or not or what aspects of the phone are consuming a lot of battery on your device. If you think your battery is draining quickly for some reason and if you are not able to figure that out, just give this app a try. Next we have Gallery Vault. As the name suggests, it's a vault to hide information. It is one of the best gallery vaults out there in the Google Play Store. You can hide images, videos and anything. It encrypts all those files but at the same time you can access them with just a click of a button. You can directly play videos without any lag and you have the option to export all these hidden files to a specific folder. Next we have ttorrent or ttorrent pro. So if you download torrents on your mobile, this is probably the best torrent client that I've used. Other torrent clients that I've used download the torrents completely but when I check them in my desktop, most of the time I found that they were incomplete. This is definitely my personal preference and this is something that worked for me for the past few years. Next we have Lemma which is a location based automation app. If you want to do some cool automation stuff like when you are at home, you want to automatically enable Wi-Fi and disable mobile data. And when you leave your home, you want to disable Wi-Fi and maybe want to turn on mobile data. So for these kind of automations which require your location information, you can use this app. This app will not use your GPS information, so it doesn't drain your battery. The next app is ShareIt which can be used to transfer files between any device which has the same application. Next we have MyPaid apps. Using this app we can track all the apps that we have purchased in the Google Play Store. So these are the list of apps that I purchased so far. Next we have Ovo which is a simple timer with a maximum time of 60 minutes. There isn't much to say about it. It's simple, it's beautiful and it works without any problem. Next we have Super Backup. If you want to backup your SMS contacts, applications then this is one of the best apps in the Play Store. Next we have Solid Explorer. If you are looking for a simple file explorer that works well and looks pretty, then this is the best one out there after ES Explorer. Next we have Paste Breathing. This is an app I use for meditating and if you know a better app, do let me know. Next we have Quick Pick which is my personal favorite gallery app. There isn't anything impressive about it. It's just simple and it does the job very quickly. Next we have Push Bullet. If you want to mirror your notifications from your phone to your desktop or your Google Chrome browser, then this is the app everyone uses in the world. Using this app, we can mirror all the notifications that you get on your phone to your PC. 
You can even reply to SMS and WhatsApp messages directly from your browser using this particular application. You can also sync your clipboard SMS from your device to your browser. Next we have Glance Plus. If you really like the concept of always on display from Samsung devices, then this app will do the same for you on the OnePlus 3. If you are interested to know more, I made a separate video for that, do check it out, I'll try to leave a link for that in the description area or else you can simply find it in my channel. Next we have Minima Pro which is once again a paid live wallpaper app. It has these nice material design based live wallpapers. If you are looking for some cool wallpapers like these, definitely give it a try. Next we have Simple Note. If you want a very simple looking notepad application, then just give it a try. Next we have Pocket. If you want to save any web page when you are online and want to read it when you are offline, then Pocket is the solution for you. Just add the link to Pocket and it will download the entire web page for you and you will be able to read it anywhere, anytime. Next we have all-in-one remote for HP wireless printers. So this is a personal preference and something that you should probably be using if you have a wireless HP printer. Next we have Tasker. If you want to do a lot of cool automation tasks like automatically enabling the power saver mode or changing brightness levels based on time and location. So for all those cool stuff, you can use Tasker. Next we have Swipepad. If you want to have access to your favorite applications very quickly, then you must definitely try Swipepad. We can set up triggers at any corner of the screen and simply swipe from that trigger area to quickly show you your favorite apps. So I personally use it in this way. OnePlus 3 is a huge device and when we are holding it in one hand, it's really hard to press the home button. In that situation, I'll simply swipe my finger from the edge and I have a shortcut to take me to the home screen. If you are looking for something like this, then definitely give it a try. Next we have Brave Browser, which is earlier called as Link Bubble. Using this app, we can open web pages in a floating bubble. When you are checking out your favorite app or just doing a Google search, you'll be presented with a lot of links and whenever you click a link, you leave the app and have to go to a new application, a new browser. So in that situation, Brave helps me. All I do is simply click on the links that I want to open and all those links will be opened in the floating bubble. So when I'm done with opening the links, I'll just select the Brave browser and I'll be able to see the web pages without any problem. It's a pretty cool app, just give it a try. Next we have Sync Me. If you want to sync files from your phone to your desktop PC, then this is the app you should definitely try. Just pair folders on your PC and on your phone and just click a button to sync files between the PC and your phone. Next we have App Lock. If you want to lock and unlock applications using your fingerprint scanner, this is the app that you should definitely try. I already made a video for that, so do check it out in my channel. And finally, if you want to find some more cool apps, then definitely check out my channel on Playboard. Simply open up this Playboard app or the Playboard website and search for Greedy Tech and you will find my list of must try apps or must have apps. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If I missed any awesome app, do let me know by commenting below this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Until then, have a nice day.